along with most essential things, items which you need to take with you to paint. And it doesn't matter you paint outside or in studio. It's canvas, it's paint, it's brushes, medium, and uh, your easel. You need a few other things and they will make your life easier. So let's make a little review of them. Very important thing when you paint outdoors is something you can wipe your brushes with. Paper towel like Bounty works great or you can use some fabric or clothes which you don't need anymore like old t-shirts. Also you'll need a bag where you will dispose your used paper towels and it could be a regular plastic bag as well. Just don't throw it away in to regular uh, garbage uh, bins. First of all, uh, it can cause fire, so keep your bags open, so it should be some aeration. And a second thing is that it's best to dispose in special paint disposal in your transfer station. Um, next thing is a container for your paints. It could be of different size. I use this one and a little bigger one, uh, which I bought in Jerry's Arturama. Uh, of course, painting outdoor uh, it's not simple process and many instructors recommend to use sketchbook. It could be a very helpful tool and to sketchbook you also probably need to add a pencil and maybe in some occasions you need uh, a razor too. I bought this one from Barnes & Nobles and always Barnes & Nobles um, have something on sale like on discounted price. This did cost I think six or seven dollars and it has very nice uh, paper which is not very soft. Also for painting it could be a useful tool uh, to use a, a viewfinder and it also has a cheat sheet on sides of um, values and complementary colors. Uh, viewfinder can be made of plastic, this one is made of paper, so it's uh, not necessary but uh, quite useful tool. To protect your brushes, brush holder, something like this or bigger, again they come in different modifications and may work well for you. I like this one, it's quite compact, it can fit up to 12 items including my palette knife. We talked about medium, but how you will use it. So you need something like a palette cup and it could be with a lid on top of it, which often get stuck and it's hard to open. There are other types of it. Uh, without lead, it could be a double palette cups. And that's in fact my favorite. With no leads, double one. Makes palette cup unique compared to a regular cup, which you can use also. Uh, that it has a special clip, which you can um, use to attach it to your palette. So you can pick up your palette, keep it in your hand, or when it's windy, when you have to move it, it's not gonna fall. This metal jar is called brush washer. We fill it up with uh, solvent like odorless mineral spirit, gamzol for instance, or turbinoid odorless. I also like another solution which works perfectly well for me, which called natural turpenoid green label. Even though this solution is based on natural oil, it's still recommended that you use gloves when you clean your brushes and of course when you paint as well if you can tolerate gloves when you paint you can apply a special solution which called liquid gloves or something similar produced by many brands right after you finished painting you would clean your brush with those solutions and then after that you need to clean and wash your brushes with warm water and soap you can use a regular household liquid soap for dishwashing or you can use this type of soap which you can find in art supply uh, stores. When you paint outside, not in city but like in uh, woods, mountains, along the coastline, you need to protect yourself from ticks, flies, mosquitoes, smaller flies, gnats and so on. There are a number of solutions available in many stores and I usually carry two of them. One is DEET based and another is based on uh, lemongrass and other type of oils which could repel 
smaller flies better uh, than a deed based one. So I recommend to use UV screen, especially if you paint somewhere next to water, because reflections from water also bring UV light on your face, even if you have a good visor and a good umbrella. Umbrella is needed to keep your yourself in shadow and also to keep your canvas and your palette not in direct light otherwise your painting will be too dark when you bring it home foldable chair could be a big help as well after you got tired if you went to place which is gorgeous and you want to spend whole day there you can easily spend three four five six hours on that spot doing two three studies so foldable chair is good when you're especially working on smaller pieces. So after a review of all essential and additional accessories uh, which artists need to paint outdoors, we're asking you, if you notice that something is missing in this list and you would like to give a suggestion, market always brings some new stuff um, and it could be quite useful, please contact us. You can contact us through contact form on website myartretreat.com or you can just email us to email address info at myartretreat.com and we'll be glad to answer your question or uh, suggestion. And at the end, of course, let's get ready and then let's paint together.